guys. In today's video, if you've been here before, you will notice that Lottie has a whole new look. So this is how we painted her. It's been a big project because she is a big girl. So um, it's taken us a little bit longer than we expected, but we are glad to say she's finally done. And yeah, we are going to show you how we got this, this new look. Um, so if you want to recreate it on your camper or just want to see how we did it, then watch through to the end of this video. Sorry for the bad audio, but I gotta get them shots. Can't take them anywhere, useless. But this did not happen overnight. So let's jump straight in with step one, getting Lottie clean as a whistle. Time for a quick outfit change and let's get power washing. Good morning, YouTube. We are back, and Yain is assisting Hi. me. Where are you? Oh, Helping me today by uh, cleaning the roof because I'm scared. It's um, it's really high, and this ladder of death is really hard to stand on the top of. So Yain's going to go up there and pressure wash the roof, and then I'm going to clean off the sides, and then we're going to paint like this all over. Not me. Don't paint me. is shiny and clean we are moving on to drum roll please step two which is really not that exciting sanding so sanding the front of our van is pretty much going to be the same as sanding any vehicle and uh, just taking the top off the current coat of paint so the new coat has something to grip to sanding the sides of the box required a few more safety precautions so I popped my little mask on and we got sanding there this is only because the sides are coated in fiberglass and you really don't want that in your lungs. Step three is going to be removing the dust and finally painting. Okay, so I'm bravely, some people might say, painting this vehicle outside. Um, that is probably not advisable. If you can fit your van into a shed, do so. Lottie doesn't have many sheds in the vicinity that can take the big personality and vehicle that she is. So I am wonder wiping and what do I call these cloths? Tack clothing an area and then I'm going to paint it and then I'm going to continue that cycle as I go on. So I have done this door and this door and I'm going to paint them and then I'm going to do up there and I'm going to paint it, etc, etc. And uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. So I've just wonder wiped it and tack clothed it. And here we go. Oh, I started back here because this is the part of the van that we kind of built and made ourselves. It's already quite rough. I know it's going to drink a little bit of paint and also the finish on it isn't superb so if i make some mistakes back here the best it can be is homemade anyway so um yeah testing some stuff out with this paint i've gone um four parts paint one part thinner 
um, uh, as recommended in another video that I watched, um, which is good because it makes the paint stretch a little bit further as well. Um, and I'll see how I get on with that over this section of the van. I do love the colour, it's like a blue-grey light colour. Um, now I'm gonna grab the big ladder. Death ladder. Do the same process above. So over with the wonder wipes, over with the tack cloth, and then once I've got all the dust off, I'll get painted. <laughs> I don't know how much you can see that, but that's where I've got to today. Good morning, my beauties. Good morning. And good morning, YouTube. So, we are back to it. On another day of painting, day two of painting. And I got a little bit of a start. I'll show you where we are. So I just wanted to grab you before I fully start doing the cab area. Okie dokie, so that is the inside of door one with one coat on. It took ages, but I think it will tie everything together much nicer that these bits are also grey and that it doesn't just stop there. But yeah, lots of masking off. Um, I've just been using the small roller and then the little paintbrush to get in kind of the areas like in here where you can sort of faintly see a few brush strokes but hopefully those will disappear when I do my second coat. So, um, yeah, now I'm doing the other side of this door. Okay, so a little bit more done. I've got a friend bringing down a long roller so that I can reach this section, so thank you Bambi. And yeah, that is all I'm getting done for today. I've also run out of masking tape, so this door is incomplete. Buy more masking tape than you think you will need. Let that be a top tip. Um, Realisation so far, it's taking far longer than I thought it was going to, but it's actually using a lot less paint. So if you're doing a normal van, I'd say two and a half liters is probably enough for two coats, especially when you're adding in four parts paint, one part thinner. Um, I think we might just run out just before the end, considering we've still got the top to do as well. I think I'm about halfway through the paint. So I used a liter and a quarter so far on the back, one complete side, nearly all of the front, and a little bit of the next side. So I'm probably not gonna get, obviously, the whole van done twice with one tin. Um, but yeah, it's actually going really far, far further than I thought it was going to. What I'm also doing is the pieces that were intending to paint black, so this lower skirt area, I am painting gray, just in case we decide any differently, essentially. I think she's looking pretty awesome so far. But yeah, I'm off to make some spaghetti meatballs and I'll see you tomorrow. Okay, so this patch behind me needs to get painted. So it looks a little, a little bit silly with my tiny roller. This is how the top's getting painted. <laughs> Can that work, baby? I mean, it'll definitely work. It's just a little awkward. Ta-da! That is the first coat done. And now I need to go around and do it all again. So I need to go around the sandpaper, sand up off any of like the proud bits, the bits that are kind of sticking up a bit, um, and then repaint the whole thing. Great. I'm only halfway through. <laughs> so I'm just gonna get started because this is taking so long already. I thought this was going to be like a two day job, sand one day, paint the next but it's turned into a week-long affair. So, this evening, I'm gonna have to climb my way all the way up there and uh, paint the roof. Here we go. Welcome to my new workstation.
All right, so, so far so good. We've got about a quarter of the roof done. Uh, I also did the finish the front bits off that Heather couldn't reach before. Um, and it's going on pretty nicely, actually. Um, onto this fiberglass, it's going on really quite well. And we don't need to put like as many layers on the top as we do on the sides and the front and everything. Um, purely because the only reason we're doing it is because when we get drone shots, we don't want the roof to look different to the rest. <laughs> but other than that, it, like the only reason we're gonna come up here is to clean the damn solar panels. So it doesn't really need to be that awesome. As long as you can't see in the drone shots. Well, uh, this has put a halt to our progress. Well, Yain was doing the roof yesterday. I'm hoping that it's all dry. Oh, we're not getting any painting done today. We'll see if it dries up by tomorrow. But the only area that's had a second coat so far is this door. And to be fair, it's beading really nicely, so that's good. Um, it's starting to look like like a proper car that's got proper paint, which is kind of cool. But um, yeah, progress gets knocked back again. I literally, honestly, thought this was going to be a three-day job. Honestly, I'm nearly a week on now. Oh well, see you tomorrow. Okay, doke, we're back in business. We've had a few days of rain, but the box is now completely sanded up, Yine's on the roof, and I'm now getting ready to do our kind of bottom black line. She's gonna look gnarly AF. A little bit of progress. Done the wheel arches, and the black all the way back. Now let's just keep the dogs away from the van while that dries. Come on, Coop. Why are you doing your tinkles? Away from the van. Good boy. Okay, so we're absolutely playing with fire today. The forecast says we're going to have showers all day. But look at that sky. That sky does not say showers all day. So we're going to get as much painting done as we've got blue skies possible. And yep. we're risking it for a biscuit. Because we're only going to do skirts on this side anyway. So, so yeah, cracking on. Heather. That paint looks patchy. Up top? Mm. Yeah, it's still, still drying. it's still drying? Yeah. Okay. I think so. Don't worry people, it's not patchy. Whilst Heather is doing the black trim, we're going to double team this bad boy and I am going to do the blue walls. Let's get to it. North. Brandy! Brandy. So most of the paint is dry, the bonnet is still a little bit sticky. So I'm going around all of the van doing the, probably the least glamorous part of this painting job. And I mean, that means it's pretty far down the chain. So clearly if I had a beautiful big shed, I would have parked Lottie in the shed to paint it so there wouldn't be dust and there wouldn't be flies. But I don't have that, so. You see that on there? See those little black dots? That is lots of little dead flies in the paintwork. Now, it's not the end of the world because, watch this. Fly? No fly. Flies? No flies. <laughs> they do literally just brush off. For the next 10 minutes, I'm gonna be getting rid of all those suckers. So I made this um, and I'm gonna paint it black. And now I'll come back in about half an hour to the grand reveal. On this channel, we do stupid things so you don't have to. I'm back here. That looks fine. Um, <laughs> 
but up close you can see where it's bled out through the masking tape I'll have to go around it with the grey paint on a paintbrush yeah at least I've done it so you don't have to get the decal don't bother with this or get spray paint um, but yeah I'll fix it up it's a fixer upper like the rest of it another what not to do when painting your van don't leave your masking tape on for days because it's freaking impossible to get off can you see all those little bits that are stuck on there yeah that's gonna be a mission to get off these little bits here nuisance Okay guys, well that is Lottie all painted up. She's still drying for the moment, so we will do the grand reveal in the morning. Um, still got a little bit of masking tape to remove, but uh, I think we're pretty happy with the end result. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not a professional job. If she came back like this from a professional job, I probably thought they could have done better. But considering myself and I have never done anything like this before and did on a budget, she looks class. What do you think, honey? You happy with the result? Yep. She looks awesome. I like that bit the most. The other go. But yeah, we will show you the full result tomorrow. Yeah. Get those last bits of masking tape off. That's what I just said, yeah. When she's fully dry. <laughs> bye bye, Lottie. See you tomorrow. And step four is create a badass montage of your new van because you can. Here we go. Always think of you when spring comes Like it's something in the air at the time Don't know why Always dream of you when spring comes like the heat on my skin takes me by to the time Met you on a Friday Halfway out at the door of the club Playing soul on the weekends Stayed in bed till Wednesday Fell in love with you right there and then I was young, couldn't see that So in total, this ended up costing us £120. I will leave the links to everything that we bought to do this on Lottie below. But in short, it was a litre of black paint, five litres of the grey paint I showed you earlier. And it took two weeks nearly in total to do two coats and then the black trim. Um, really, really, really happy with the finish. She looks like a boss especially when you compare it to what she used to look like, the little white moving van, I can't believe. Even now when I already look at photos, I can't believe how different she looks. So yeah, 120 pounds, well spent, 